Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to ping the SP32 after it is connected to a Wi-Fi network. Uh, we are going to be using the Arduino core in order to program the SP32. As target port I'm going to be using an SP32 Fire Beetle board from DFROB. So basically, uh, the SP32 has a very nice feature, uh, which is after we connect it to a Wi-Fi network, it will natively answer to ping requests made from another machine connected to the same network. So basically, after we connect it to the Wi-Fi network, if we are having troubles, for example, with uh, some functionality related um, or operating over Wi-Fi and we are not sure if the machine is even accessible um, in the network, we can just uh, open a common line in another computer uh, and make a ping uh, to check if our ASP32 is reachable. For example, this is very useful if we are trying to set up a simple web server on the ASP32, trying to serve a web page or something similar, and we cannot reach it uh, using, for example, a web browser. So with this ping feature, we have a way to check before going to more complex debugging approaches. We have a very simple way to check uh, if the SP32 is reachable. So basically, uh, as I've said, it uh, the SP32 will answer natively to this ping request, so we don't need to write any specific code uh, to handle this ping request from another machine. So uh, getting started with the code, and as you'll see, this will be really simple because we just need to connect it to the Wi-Fi network. So basically, we start to include the Wi-Fi dot edge library, um, pretty much like we are doing. Um, we were doing in the previous tutorials where we need to work with uh, Wi-Fi features. Uh, after that, we need the credentials of the Wi-Fi network so we can connect to it, uh, more precisely the network name or SSID and the password. And then on the setup function, we'll start by um, initializing here uh, a serial connection because we are going to need to know the IP of the SP32 in order for us to send the ping request and after that we are going to simply uh, connect the SP32 to the Wi-Fi network by calling here the begin method on the Wi-Fi extern variable that gets available from this include and then after that we just wait for the connection to be finished uh, and as soon as we are connected to the Wi-Fi network we will print here the local IP assigned to the SP32 uh, on that network just by calling this local IP method on the, again on the Wi-Fi extern variable that takes no arguments and will return um, the IP which we can directly print. So in terms of code it's just it as you can see we can even leave an empty loop because all, all the um, all the this ping functionality will be uh, handled under the hood so we don't actually write any code for it we just need to make sure that we are connected to a Wi-Fi network. So I've already uploaded uh, this code to my SP32 as you can see here I'm going just to reset it so you can see it running again and as you can see I have here the IP of my SP32 on the Wi-Fi network then I've just opened here um, a command line I have already uh, run a quick test before recording this video but I'm going to do it again as you can see here um, this is exactly the same uh, IP uh, that was assigned to my SP32 on the Wi-Fi network and this machine where I'm recording this video is also connected to that same uh, Wi-Fi network so now I'm just going to send a very simple and basic ping command and as you can see here I'm getting the replies from the SP32 as expected uh, with, uh, with the times that it took uh, to, do the, to do the ping and to receive the answer. And as you can see here, uh, we have sent four packets and we have received uh, four packets and the, the SP32 answered as expected. So uh, if I was debugging uh, some program on the SP32, at least I could know that it was reachable uh, from this machine. So this is an interesting feature. Um, probably is one of those that can get a uh, little bit unnoticed. I've just uh, very recently noticed that this, this feature was available and I think it's a very interesting one so uh, we can play around a little bit um, and check and, and try to reach it uh, the SP32 on our network. So thank you very much for watching this video.